He is. Ready? Like dead arm. Sleep. Relax your body all the way down, Vaughn. Way down. Her, her <laughs> arm is like, <laughs> like a rubber band. There's like no bone in her body. Isn't that cool? That is awesome to me. All right. Welcome back to The Woody Show, everybody. Hey. 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 All right. So uh, we have an in-studio guest. As uh, we told you, his name is Kevin Stone. Please welcome Kevin, Kevin. to Kevin. the show. Yeah. Wow. That's, wow. Hi, Kevin. So, uh, okay. So hypnotist.com yeah. is the website. Mm -hmm. uh, Kevin is a master hypnotist, a board certified hypnotherapist. How did, what board? What board? What do you, like, is there like a... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's an or organized board who uh, deems us worthy of doing what we do. And it's, a of course, a hierarchy of hypnosis when you get all your studies in and all your practice. Yeah. And then they I have a lot of questions, as you can tell. I think, can you can you tell that just by the way I'm <laughs> looking at you as you're talking Focusing. about this, this Look, board? I, I can tell a lot of things the moment I walked in the room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like what, for example? Yeah, read uh, the room. Nervousness, yeah. excitement. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Curiosity? Yeah. Um, horniness. Horniness, <laughs> yeah. Did you, did, did you sense any, did you sense <laughs> any horniness? <laughs> no, I didn't sense that one. No, it's like board, board That's certified. a lot of my league. <laughs> hypnotherapist uh, Kevin is recognized as the number one global expert and authority on hypnosis. Wow. What an so, introduction. Yeah, you, you claim to be the most requested hypnotist in the world. I don't make any claims. I just know what I do. Okay. And well, I do it well. Who calls you in? Like, so is this a full time job or do you like um Oh no, this you, is Because you I, look like you work at the pro at the like the pro shop or whatever. <laughs> at the you golf know? course. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're like the country club, club yeah. and if, yeah. you know, someone needs some hypnosis, like, hey guys, I'll be back. I need to make my, I need to shave ah. five strokes off my game. <laughs> yeah. Hypnotize ah. me into being a better putter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I didn't just, know there was a certain look that had to be a hypnotist, but there is a stereotypical. I get it because of the cartoons, comics, yeah, tux, all, a tuxedo, all and yeah, yeah, high, yeah. Top dark hat. with a goatee, crystal balls. So is yeah. this a, is this dark a full time looking. occupation for you that can make a living? Oh, doing this is what I do. Yeah, I've been doing this for thirty years. Wow. Okay, so how, like, so how does it work? Like, you get a call, and it's from like like who's your average uh, customer? Anyone global. See, I'm global. So I'm known as the Hollywood hypnotist. I treat a lot of celebrities, major sports figures, do a lot of sports teams, that type of thing. But I treat the average Joe, just anyone who wants to call, who wants to work on their lives to help themselves, whatever it is they want to change in their lives, I'm the guy to call. I'm the guy that's going to make it happen. Okay, and then what? Do you go to them? They come to you? Are you like in a strip mall like the chiropractor is? No. Or? <laughs> <laughs> no, like how's it, like, how, literally, how does it work? Like do you go... To their house and like, because uh, you no. need like a certain, we, we, no, we're going to hypnotize though. some people here today. Yeah, I know. I love it. And uh, like, but there was like a, a certain environment that needed to be set up. Uh, it could be right here. We could do it right here if we really wanted to, oh, but okay. to make it more effective and for what we're doing today. Yeah. We set up a room where we're going to do the official hypnosis because we can't do it on air. Because if we do it on air, people start to go into hypnosis and then uh, yeah, and Rick, crash cars. By the way, it's not safe. Sammy, <laughs> Sammy did have a Sammy did have a quote because Sammy, uh, what are you getting Sammy hypnotized for? Nervous. Like, yeah. what are you for for stress and my back pain? For stress mm. and back, you could yeah. do hypnosis works for like pain. Absolutely. Like, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah absolutely. Kind of stuff. Yeah. I thought it was like cluck like a chicken kind of stuff. Or like mm -hmm. I've heard about like the stop smoking stop thing. Stop smoking yeah. is very well, popular. Well, the general things of what, again, the stereotypical, again, I walked in, people expect to see a certain look and all of this kind of thing that comes in the stigma that comes with being a hypnotist, yeah. right? It's not those things. It, it really isn't. But so, yeah. So, like, what are the most popular things, though? Like, the things that people like smoking, I would assume? Well, uh, I started my career right here in the Valley with smoking and weight. And that smoking turned into weight. what is now, uh, I'm known for pain management, addictions, um, just about anything you can really want to The change. addiction thing would make sense. Like, I'm not, by the way, I don't know if you could tell or not, I'm not necessarily a believer in no, hypnosis. Like, like, you know, I know like, that right away. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm super skeptical. <laughs> is that offensive? As a person, yeah, is that offensive? I'm not, yeah, I'm not trying to. cynical written on the in front yeah, of his yeah, forehead. Right. Yeah. But is that offensive when people say, I'm super skeptical? Absolutely not. Okay. Because look, I was on the other side of the fence too. Look, I, I grew up in New England uh, and a, a really religious family, mm -hmm. Catholic. And so when I decided to go to school for this, which is the, oh, the only accredited college right here in the Valley, mm -hmm. I went to school for this because I was in between jobs. And so I decided every time I'm in between jobs, I go back to academia to learn something because that's what my mind is. I didn't really believe in this either. And I grew up in an environment where <laughs> this stuff is, yeah. you know, work of the demon, it's uh, taboo, yeah. it's all of those things that 
I've been hearing for 30 years, and it's gonna. I'm going to continue to hear them. Okay, I, I'm honestly, sure. I'm not. I'm not trying to be uh, offensive. I'm not. Trying, no, I don't think you I'm are. Just, at all. I'm just super skeptical. But like, and I can Absolutely. understand like when you talk about like stop smoking or, uh, you know, whatever that would be. I, I can understand like a hypnosis would work on something like that. But how do how do you explain to people that you could take care of like a pain management thing like Sammy's back? Like, how, like how would hypnosis help that? Who's to say I haven't already done it? I don't know. I'm just asking. You're the. <laughs> don't answer a question with a question. Yeah, but, I mean, if like, you went to, how does that, how does that work? Well, uh, I mean, Howard Stern is, has even said that his back pain it was all in his head, and he worked with I think maybe a hypnotist or somebody. Yeah, absolutely. That helped yeah. him like reprogram yeah, that his was brain. All in his mind. They yeah, said. and then it went away. Hmm. I mean, I hope it's right. True. So, so here's mm-hmm. how. Here's the basic thing, without getting too boring, because I know this is radio. We want to keep it lively and exciting and fun, right? So, real quick, there's three parts to your mind: conscious mind, subconscious mind, and a critical factor, right? Okay. Bottom part is the subconscious mind, eighty-eight percent of your brain's capacity. That's basically your storage filing system of all information. Mm-hmm. Greg's right? is broken, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, it's not like where your memory, your memory, right? Like horrible. Yeah, he's got memory. a horrible memory. Oh, Horrible memory. We'll, we'll fix that. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Because again, in this filing cabinet, and what's important to know and understand is all behavior is learned behavior. Mm. Everything. From okay. Be- and we've even traced it back into birth and all of this. So that I can understand. I can believe that. Yeah. So basically what ends up happening is you learn these behaviors. The mind does not think for itself. It has to be programmed, just like a computer system. So once it's programmed, either positive behavior or negative behavior, let's say like weight or smoking, like the general stuff, Mm -hmm. right, or pain, it signals the brain to tell that's what it needs to do, just like your computer, right? So my job as the hypnotist is basically get into the subconscious mind with your permission. Again, I can't hypnotize anyone who doesn't want to be hypnotized Mm -hmm. or I can't make you go rob a bank and all this foolishness that you see on TV and in the movie. The cluck like a chicken stuff. So are you saying that's foolish? Like that's not, that's not real hypnosis? Uh, If you want to cluck like a chicken, sure, go ahead. I (laughs) I know, but like when people go, I'm going to snap my fingers and you're going to walk around cluck like a chicken. Like the number seven. Yeah, because I think right. maybe that's where people. Oh yeah, oh, yeah absolutely. That's where people start getting like, get out of here. You know, well, I understand like what you're saying about being able to kind of like, um, uh, you're kind of it's almost like a hard reset. Like when they say like a power cycle on a you know modem or whatever. Like, yeah. have you tried unplugging it, and then letting it recycle, and then all of a sudden things start working better the way they're supposed to? Because you're right. talking about a program, and you know you kind of wipe out that uh, whatever, so you can reprogram to you know watch what you eat or. Not to smoke. I love that definition. Is that, uh, is that awesome. so? Is that kind of what you're saying? That's a, it's not to cluck like that's a chicken. Basic, you could. I mean, I do. Uh, look, I take. There's two sides to me. There's an entertainment side, and then there's the medical side. The board certified all of the great uh-huh. introduction. So on the on the stage side, which we've all seen comedy hypnosis shows, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we do. I don't do the cluck like a chicken thing. The, uh, my objective and the reason, even the re, even the reason I'm here today is to again promote the positivity of a natural organic yeah. state called hypnosis. Okay, right. And actually, everybody in this room, especially you, Woody, is actually a hypnotist. You don't even know it. You're a natural hypnotist. Hmm. <sighs> Hell yeah, oh, that's intriguing. Yeah. Now I've piqued now I've your interest. Right. Yeah, tell me more. <laughs> Somebody I once heard that. Have you ever? Uh, I bet everybody has. You've driven home. Let's say it's a half hour drive, and by the time you get home, you realize, I don't really remember driving home. Yeah. They say that's kind of hypnosis. Well, that, exactly. Uh, truckers mm-hmm. call it white line fever. Uh-huh. Uh, again, you're, you're driving along, and some people are probably doing it now. You just missed your exit. It was three exits back somewhere. Right. Well, that's because the show is so fascinating. Right. <laughs> we're just so they're, caught they're, up. Yeah, yeah they're so well, glued so, to what we're doing. <laughs> radio yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, and that's where, that's where my hypnosis See, uh, well, powers well, come you're, in. You and everyone in this room who does this show daily, you are actually hypnotizing people daily. What are you doing? You're having people come back and listen to the program. You're having them attached to the program. You're suggesting certain things to them. The commercialism on this program, they start buying the products. That's all environmental hypnosis. It's okay. the same thing as yeah. the metaphor and the, and the example you gave of the car. Right. Of you, you're driving along, you miss your exit. You just kind of forget. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Reading a good book, watching a good movie. Right. So you're not necessarily you know. trick. I mean, is it tricking yourself? Like, are you trying to trick no. your own brain? Like Absolutely. by telling yourself certain things or... Well, that's the that's the little like a mantra or like a... Because like, like meditation works a lot like that, right? 
Like where you, you, you try to get yourself into a certain... Into a deeper state. Right. Praying, meditation, yeah. all of that. These are all cousins of what I believe and what I promote is, of course, the hierarchy, which is hypnosis. Because again, all hypnosis is really self-hypnosis. And we go in and out of it about a thousand times a day. It's our natural state. It really is. Why not harness that natural organic power to improve your life the way you want it to be? Right? Okay. So it's hard to wrap your mind around that because, again, we are all brought up to be cynic and skeptic and we have that little bs meter inside of our head i never got that yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah i must have missed that part somehow they just didn't sure and, and it's that little voice there's a little voice inside of our head yeah. that we're programming ourselves every day how many people woke up today looked in the mirror and said i'm having a bad hair day okay Greg. you're starting uh, to- <laughs> oh, that would be yeah. an eye <laughs> You already started your day off with a negative. Yeah. You see, so that's the programming and the negative scripting that continues inside your mind throughout your entire day and without you even realizing or knowing. Okay. So why so, not? Pu- yeah, go ahead. Please. So, so Greg, you want to, what, what's the, what's the objective here for you? Well, we, we were told we could keep it super vague. So just be okay. better. And then one of them was giving up vaping. All right. So stop vaping. Yeah. Right. So yeah. when, and I'm, and I'm trying to understand like how, how this will work. So like when you, like for Greg, for example, stop vaping. Yeah. You're going to what? Just try to get him to chill? Like, just kind of like yeah. clear his mind? <laughs> Calm down. Whatever. Yeah. And then and then are you like kind of like barking code at him kind of thing? Like, <laughs> I, I, I've, seen, I've only seen the stuff that's like on stage. Like, yeah. you talk about the stage right. hypnosis right. stuff. Right. You know oh, yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, for, like, so, like, how are, like, you're saying, you won't vape anymore. You'll hate vaping. Vaping is poison. Vaping is, like, right. like wow. are you? Well, that's aversion therapy. That's okay. a different type. Again, oh. it really depends. I'll, I'll have a little chat with Greg mm. and decide which direction I'm going to go. But look, hypnosis is done with words. Again, this is what you do every day. Uh-huh. You use your voice to earn a living, right? right? Mm. So it's all hypnosis is what you're really doing. So why not harness that power? Then there's natural hypnotists and there's you know people who learn how to do this. I learned how to do this, not knowing that I was doing it. So do you have to be a person who's able to meditate? Like, do you have to be able to to be a person who can even clear your mind? No. There was a guy, he worked here in the building. He was so big on meditation. Vic? Yeah. Yeah. Vic the Brick? Yep. And he, he was like, Woody, you just like for ten seconds, just just clear your mind, clear your mind, and I, it, all, all I can think about in that ten seconds is has it been ten seconds? Yeah. Like yeah. I really tried, and I, and I really tried to like, right, has it been ten seconds? That's all I could think of, and I couldn't right. truly clear my mind. Yeah. So I we, had that issue because I've done this before with another radio show with a group of people, and it just nothing happened for me because I don't feel like I could clear my mind. Right. It's always going in. A, thousand right. different directions at once right is it because you're paying attention even... to everybody else's stuff instead of your own stuff or i don't know i just yeah. like i just couldn't relax and get into the groove i guess yeah, with everybody else. well here's the thing with yeah. men because we're trained in our society and in our culture that we're macho we don't want to lose control yeah See, true yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and look so, yeah. Totally. and so 69. we we mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so it's prohibitive sometimes with men because they just won't allow it. Just like yeah. just like you yeah. were. I knew as soon as I walked in the room, you were my cynic, my skeptic, that guy who has sure. lots of questions. You're you're an analytical. Mm-hmm. So you overanalyze things. You also overanalyze your things out of situations you should just leave yourself in, but you don't. And then you regret it later. You overthink it again. This is your process, okay. right? And this is your protective layer. Yeah, right, it's a defense mechanism. It's fine. He turned down a threesome with a couple of hot chicks for just that yeah, reason. A couple. Well, he overthought it. Good. There's a perfect example. Such an idiot. And now he's shamed in front of all men no, worldwide. No, biggest regret of my life. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Coolest pool party ever. Yeah. <laughs> in your mind. Yeah. So, idiot. So. <laughs> So that's basically, you know, our, already know what's go, how it's going in. Now, this gentleman, what, what's your name? Greg. Oh, yeah, Greg. Greg. So Greg already know is is willing, wanting. And so, again, I have no powers. I have no magic. I'm not going to sprinkle any voodoo dust on people. And you're going to walk. No drugs? <laughs> not <laughs> one? Oh, not a one. But no, you're going to so feel like you're on drugs. Yeah. yeah. Well, Sammy was worried that she shouldn't drive yeah, home. Yeah, can I drive right. home after that- this or what's the <laughs> That's yeah. the common, you, even, you definitely can. It's definitely gonna work on her. Yeah. Even I know that. <laughs> even I know that's a dumb question. Right. <laughs> like, oh, I don't know if I There's no try. dumb question. Her mind is clear. <laughs> yes, there are. <laughs> there are dumb questions. So, so, 
The only for dumb example. questions are the dumb ones. Listen, I that's, it. that's it. No, I'm yeah. not to talk about you. Yeah. That's it. So, so listen, I, this is what I do daily. So to me, there is no dumb questions because yeah. I hear the same questions, yeah. the mm-hmm. same concerns, the same yeah. thought processes. This is standard in my industry of what I do. Okay, it's well, like if you went to go see that chiropractor, yeah. he's going to hear the same questions. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's the same. It's, you guys are a radio host. It's the same thing. You go out, some he realizes who you are, you're going to get the same question. Well, Kevin right? Stone is here. He is our guest. He is a master hypnotist, a board certified hypnotherapist, recognized the number one global expert and authority on hypnosis. Yeah. Uh, the website is hypnotist.com. Spell that, man. Let's go ahead and try it out. Yeah. Um, hypnotist. Hip. H I P. No. Okay, we'll be here H-Y-P- all day. H Y P N O T I S T. It's the easiest com. website in the world. Yeah. And also. No, no, it actually isn't because even I, and I've owned that since the beginning of time, right? Yeah. In the beginning, yeah. Of, in the beginning of websites. The internet, and all yeah. Because yeah. right? people go, well, how'd you, that how'd was you a score good that? Yeah, well, exactly. that's my, that's going to be my, my retirement account. Oh, okay. Sell, so. Yeah. But on Instagram, <laughs> you can find them at Hollywood Hypnotist Kevin Stone. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to, what we're going to do here is we're going to take a break. And then what we're going to come back with is going to be, um, th- this, this is something that, uh, you know, th- it takes what, 30 minutes you said? It could take two minutes. As a matter of fact, I've already done it. I've, wow. already, I've already started. It's already, the process has already begun. Okay. And so we're just going to go into the formal process of it because there are people here. There's a who, different room that uh, everybody's going to go to now. And uh, I was told it's going to take about 30 minutes. So what we're going to do here in full disclosure for the audience, uh, this is not in real time. We're going to come back. It's going to be a recorded reaction. Uh, so we're, we're going we're to come back. And uh, what you're going to hear next is going to be the recorded reaction uh, from everybody and a yeah. little wrap up. Because I want you to have the, your time to do whatever you want without having to worry about how much time we got left here on the show. I love that. Commercials and stuff like that. I love it. So uh, before everybody goes in, Greg, you want to stop vaping? Sure. Uh, Menace, what's yours? Stop being fat. All right, so wait. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Is there any way... Do you, you think you have enough power it. to do that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> weight loss. Sammy already heard uh, the back pain and then just lower stress. Yes. All right. Uh, Morgan, you're going to do this too. Yeah, so I put weight loss down to be, you know, generic, Jeez. but... But let me say, I want to focus, if we can be more specific, on like eating disorders, because that's something I struggle with. Absolutely. Is that like, possible? really? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look, here's Actually, I don't like you're... to work struggle. I... Because you're not heavy at all. Right. No, I get that. She's tall and skinny. I'm like, I mean, weight loss. It's I mean, like when Greg says he's fat. Like, right. what are you talking about? Right. But uh, I truth. could be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Well, no, no, I mean, like, uh, eating disorders, that's, like, that's a completely different thing. No, but I'm glad she clarified that, because yeah. when she said weight loss, there was no way. But see, that's what people, when they call me... They always have something they they, they tell you they want to change. Mm-hmm. It's not really that. Yeah. So I'm I'm glad you were transparent okay. with that Thank and you. really said it's an eating disorder and not a weight yeah, loss. Uh, Menace, what's because your what's your real reason? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Menace Menace is definitely weight loss. <laughs> Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Morgan, you want to go one, dog. Yeah, a couple of knees, five pounds, yeah. 10 pounds right there. <laughs> and also, uh, Vaughn, our video producer, he's running the cameras right now, but uh, I, I found out he is uh, he's looking to be hypnotized for self-sabotage, oh. generational Vaughn, family patterns, oh, Vaughn, okay. and uh, achieving success. So, I mean, that, okay. that seems to be the All of this is absolutely one. positively capable of doing, right? Listen, for a low, low price he, of... Like, what do you charge for this service? Like, if like if somebody called you and they wanted to... It depends. It depends on the issue. There could be... A, there's a treatment plan. It could be one to six. Like a smoking, right? I'll give you a smoking issue really okay. quick. And this happened during a comedy stage hypnosis show at a corporate event, right? So the, so basically, you might be familiar with the company. They have big smiles on their packages. You might get a, a, a package from them every day. I know I do, right? Mm-hmm. So the CEO of that company... Uh, came up on stage and like you, Woody, uh, very skeptical, didn't want to come up, but his wife basically made him come up. She had just seen me on one of the television programs, so she knew it was going to happen. So he reluctantly came up to make her happy and didn't think he was going to last, right? Because if you've been in a comedy stage, no show, you, like, I think you said it, uh, mm-hmm. um, yeah, where you, it didn't work for you, you yeah. and, and basically the hypnotist uh, just dismissed you, right? So basically it comes up. He, he, he was one of the funniest guys I've seen the entire, and I didn't know any of this, right? And I don't know anybody in this room either. Just, again, it's going to really depend on you. But the long story short is this. So he basically is on stage. He basically says, listen, 
give me the microphone. I want to talk to everybody. It's about 3,000 people. He says, listen, I don't want to come up here. My wife forced me up here. That gets a big laugh. Everybody knows mm-hmm. who's married. And basically, he said, I had the best time I ever had in my life. I feel absolutely amazing. This is what I was, I was telling you about how at the end, don't worry about driving home. You're going to feel absolutely on top of the world okay. and amazing. You'll fly <laughs> home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll float. Yeah, you'll float, float right home. Float yeah. home. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So basically, he felt amazing, all of that, da, da, da. Basically, he reaches into his pocket. Now, this guy was a 40-year smoker, two and a half packs a day. Jeez. Camel non filters. One wow. of those smokes you can do. Reaches into his pocket. He had like one cigarette gone. And he reaches out, crumbles them up, smashes them on the stage floor, declares to everybody he's a non-smoker after 40 years, two and a half packs a day. I called him six weeks later, still a non-smoker. That happened during a stage hypnosis show where I actually do what we're going to do today. We're going to do the, the the elongated version, mm-hmm. but that was a maybe a minute, two yeah. minute version. Wow. Yeah. And those are the kind of things that happen in my public performances or lectures, et cetera, where people get to change their lives as well. And this okay. is why I do these things to help right. people to help themselves. We'll see about that, sir. <laughs> We're going to find out next because right. they're about to go into the other room. Kevin Stone is here. Well, do you right. guys want to try something really quick before we yeah, go into the other sure. room with everybody with you too, Woody? Yeah, sure. Is that fair? <clears throat> Have you already reprogrammed me? <laughs> I, I, is I he guess. fixed? I guess. Am I fixed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you want to fix? Is this fixed? I mean, where do you start? <laughs> How much time you have? What's your largest package you offer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, like I said, as soon as I, uh, I walked in the room, I'd already started. Uh, I've already been doing it since I've been sitting here. That's how simple it really is. But we're going to try something. This is how you can see. This is not actually hypnosis. I'm going to show you how your mind works and how the programming could work. Okay? okay. Fair enough? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, again, all you have to be is open and willing. Is that everybody in the room? Yes. Say yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Okay, very good. So, everyone take your hands, put them up like this. Now, uh, Woody, you'll give us a bit the play by play, basically okay. we're putting our hands up in the air because mm-hmm. it's radio, so people can't Almost see. Almost like it. you're holding a ball between your yeah, two right. hands. So you're going to take your hands, put them together, now like and fold prayer. them down like you're in a prey position. Okay. You can do this too, Woody. Hands crisscross, our fingers yeah. crisscross. Yeah, yeah. Put them up like right. that so I can see them. Okay, yeah. yeah. Good. Now take your two pointy fingers, put them up like that, about an inch apart. Okay. Awesome. Now don't look at me, look directly down the center of your two fingers, everyone. Just okay. focus and concentrate on my voice. You'll find it starting right. Now, those two fingers will start to move in closer and closer together. As if there's two magnets on each finger, they'll continue to move in, pulling and tugging, tugging and pulling closer, closer, closer. They're going to touch. When they do touch, they're going to reach your height of your suggestibility. Moving, tugging, tugging, pulling, pulling, tugging, tugging, closer, 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 closer. Good. Relax your fingers. (laughs) Now, round of applause. How many people had their fingers touch? Round of applause. Now, keep clapping. The ones who didn't have their fingers touch, look at the ones clapping right now. Okay. Ravy, Menace, Greg. Yep. Seabass. Those are the intelligent people of this group. Yeah, yeah nice. I, maybe you. I got distracted because so, it was always so, that tugging, tugging, tugging. I was like, geez. Am so I the listen. only one getting a boner right now? Yeah, <laughs> oh, wow. So yeah. listen, that is just straight suggestibility, right? That mm-hmm. I just gave direct suggestion to, to allow it to work again. So if it came in and they did touch, you are allowing yourself to go through the process and have the experience. Again, okay. I'm not a magician. I don't do magic. I'm not going to sprinkle voodoo dust. Well, Nothing, only, Sammy? No, because I only had my fingers touch at a certain point because you were still saying it, and I was kind of looking around, and other people were. So then I was like, oh, are we supposed oh, to just see? do it ourselves? Yeah, and oh, I got my confused. God. Right. That's pure All right. All right. I don't, so she that's she might whole, be a lost cause. A, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll She's going to be clucking like a chicken. All right, off, <laughs> off to the room. Let's see if we can be hypnotized. Right, all right. Kevin Stone is here. More yeah. next on The Woody Show. Hang on. Just allow yourself to go even deeper and relax yourself deeper into the hypnotic state. All the way down. Let it go. Good. Relax. Let it go. Good. All the way down. Good. Deeper. And deeper. All the way down. There you go. Good. There you go, Sammy. Don't think so much. Just let it go. Good. Let it go. All the way down. Good. All the way down. Excellent. I'm going to count to three. Look at me now. Remain in hypnosis. One, two, and three. Eyes open, folks. Good. Sit up straight. Hi. Hi. Good for you. Look at that. Awesome. So I'm going to ask you a couple of quick questions. We'll go around the room again. There's no right. There's no wrong. It's about what your experience is and how you feel. So I'm going to start over here. What's your name? Vaughn. Vaughn. You got a dry mouth? A little bit. Yes, you do. <laughs> That's an indicator of hypnosis where people start to have physiological changes in their body. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Hey, hey. Uh, so uh, this is an hour and a half later. <laughs> oh, it is. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. From uh, when we uh, left before the break, we are with Kevin Stone. He is a master hypnotist, a board-certified hypnotherapist. He's recognized as the number one global expert and authority on hypnosis. Hypnotist.com is the website. And uh, all right, so how'd it go? We went, well, everybody, well, except for myself, I didn't know Ravy was doing it. Uh, yeah. Was that a last-minute yeah. decision? I. I, I went in because I thought it was going to be cool. Oh, okay. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but you weren't on my uh, on my list of people who were participating. So, oh, I'm like, what, well. so what did you go in there to be hypnotized for? To f- be focused better and filter out the noise. Focus mm. better and filter out the noise. Okay. Yeah. Distractions. Uh, Get rid yeah. of distractions. Yeah. So they went uh, into another room here at the radio station, and, and somebody kind of like walked me through. Kevin, you want to start like... Yeah. How does this begin? Like everybody just like sits down or lays down? Like how does this happen? Yeah. Um, it's basically we went to another room. We didn't have to. We could have done it right here in studio because it's the same, was basically the same structure. Okay. Yeah. They sat in a structure just like this okay. in, in comfortable chairs with soundproof right. roof. I, I didn't even know we went an hour and a half. So even oh, I yeah. lost track of time. <laughs> so you lose Were you hypnotized? Tra- Absolutely. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because you lose track of time when you're in a hypnotic state. So for example, Greg, how long yeah. did you think you were in hypnosis? Uh, uh, maybe half hour. Okay. 20 minutes. Yeah. 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 20 minutes. Yeah. I said, oh, you should say an hour and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. basically we go in the room. It's just like going into my office in, in a hypnotherapy process where you're sitting down, you're getting as comfortable as possible. If you want to lay down, great. But in this case, we sat down Okay. and, uh, we started the process. The hypnotic trance is that basic. Okay. And thoughts. I'm, I'm curious to hear what, uh, well, everybody. Oh. I think the, could we just go right into the setup? So you had us go through some like early stages before you got into the main thing. And Very good. That the early stages stuff was trippy because there was a, a, a visual of there was a cameraman in the studio. Yeah. And he had this like look into like the old school spinning thing. The like disc. black the and hypno- white. The, the hypno disc. The hypno oh, okay. disc. Oh. And he's like, look at the hypno disc and then look at the cameraman. And then the cameraman's head expanded, like expanded into a, like balloon. a balloon. Here we go. Focus, concentrate. One, two, and three, look at his nose. <laughs> <laughs> it was his insane. whole body started to. Yeah, yeah, but here's the thing. And then <laughs> he's like, okay. You'll see something you didn't realize your mind could do. Here we go. One, two, and three. Check it out. Greg, I said, look, here, you were looking somewhere else, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not I. Oh, wait, I was? You were. <laughs> and he didn't, like, suggest, like, look at his head or right, anything uh-huh. like didn't that. Right, he didn't say. Didn't say anything, and then right. we looked back at his head, and then it starts shrinking down, like, almost like, like Beetlejuice. Like a pinhead. Oh. Like a little... <laughs> little tiny like head, but again, head, yeah. there was yeah. no suggestion on like what was oh, going to happen. What was okay. going to happen at all? Mm-hmm. And it, but what was crazy is, um, it didn't start like deflating until you hit a certain number. So like when you were looking at the cameraman, his head was still deflated the whole time. And what you're counting, Kevin? Yeah. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now this wasn't the formal hypnosis. What we did was the formal hypnosis. But like I said to you earlier, Woody. When I walked in the studio, the moment I ha- got into the building, I already started the process. That's called environmental hypnosis. Okay. So, like I said, we could have transitioned that right here in the room to exactly what was going on in the other room. Right. We just t- took it steps further because, number one, they were willing, they were wanting, and they wanted the experience. Take your arms, extend them out like this. <clears throat> Good. All I have to do now is close your eyes. Again, I'm not going to hypnotize you again. I'm showing you the power of your own mind, how the mind works, and how you are going to take yourself on this journey. So I want you to visualize, imagine, I want you to think. Use your mind, because that's what hypnosis is. You have to be intelligent to do this. You have to use your access of your intellect to allow it to work. So I want you to think about now that I've just placed on one of your hands, you decide, a giant bowling ball. One, you start to think about the ball. Two, you start to think about the color of the ball. It's your ball. <clears throat> Three, you start to think about the weight of the ball. As you do, so does your hand. It becomes very heavy, heavy, heavy. The heavier that ball is in your mind, the heavier your hand becomes dragging down into your lap. 
the more I speak, the heavier that ball gets, heavier, heavier, heavier. Now, on your other hand and wrist, because you're in full control, remember, I'm going to tie a long white string with a beautiful bouquet of balloons. Lots of helium in the balloons is about 2,000 balloons. You start to feel your hand lifting and rising into the sky, rising and lifting, lifting and rising, higher and higher now. The other hand becoming heavier, heavier, heavier. The more you resist the weight of the ball, the heavier the ball gets, heavier, 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 heavier. The other hand lifting and rising, floating and rising, lifting and rising, higher, 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 higher. The more you think about it, the heavier the hand gets, heavier, 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 heavier. The other hand lighter, 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 lifting and rising, rising and lifting, higher, higher, higher. The other hand lighter, 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 lighter. Good. I want you to freeze. Don't move. Remember, there's no pass or fail. There's no better or worse. There's no good or bad. Open your eyes. See how well you've concentrated. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. You can relax your hands, folks. I was surprised at a couple things. Number one, not surprised that I feel like I was the one that wanted to most believe and relax, and I felt like I was resistant to it mm -hmm. um, because I was way too conscious about how was I sitting? Was I doing it right? Was I doing everything right? Am I being polite? Am I being rude? Um, Ravy and Vaughn, I Whoa. think they were like on another planet. <laughs> yeah. All the way down. Let it go. Good. Relax. Let it go. Good. All the way down. Good. Really? Especially Vaughn. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially oh, yeah. Oh, Vaughn yeah. at the very end. Why? Like he, in what way? <laughs> once you're still under hypnosis, uh, Kevin does this thing where he's very casual and he'll kind of like, you know, pat you on the shoulder or, or shake your hand. And he shook Vaughn's hand. He's like, hey, good job, good job. And then he said, sleep. And Vaughn went all the way to the floor. I just collapsed. Collapsed. Really? Yeah. Vaughn, you say? Vaughn, yes. Vaughn, good to see you, Vaughn. Just relax. Look at me. Ready? Sleep. Relax your body. Vaughn, let down. Let it go. Way down. Feeling good. Good. Now, Vaughn is completely aware, just like all of you are now. Yeah. And I, I wasn't sure if you were aware you did that or... I was aware, and it was, like, just so heavy. You know, like, there was a point during the form of hypnosis that I was trying to open my eyes, but, like, it felt hard to open my eyes even. You know? Yeah. Like, I knew I could, but it just wasn't mm -hmm. happening. You know? I, uh, honest question, he likes weed. Yes. Have you had, <laughs> have you really? had any weed <laughs> oh, yeah, this yeah. morning? Definitely, yeah. And then Ravy oh, okay. seemed super serious. Like, at one point, uh, Kevin was saying, you did a great job. I thought you'd be resistant, and she just had this... Stare on her face. Is it Ravy? Mm -hmm. Hi, Ravy. Good to see you. Look at me. Hi, Ravy. Good job. You've never done hypnosis before. No. You are so relaxed and so unbelievable. Look at that. Her <laughs> her arm is like <laughs> like a rubber band. There's like no bone in her body. Isn't that cool? That is awesome to me. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. See, see, Greg's doing the play by play exactly how it felt in the room. Now. Ravy, mm -hmm. who I didn't have on my list either, right. was, was a surprise. But I can tell, just like when I came in the room, who my skeptic cynics were and where you stood, right? Sure, Ravy? yeah. Honestly, transparently. Ravy, who I thought, okay, this is going to be an interesting process with her because she's got a defense mechanism up. Naturally. Where, absolutely. <laughs> where I thought, okay, she's probably, out of all the group, she's the one who's just not going to accept what's happening here. Because she's got that defense, and mm. that's her filter. And it's mm -hmm. not a good or bad. It's not a positive or negative. That's just her personality, who she is. Okay. Okay? And it's wonderful. The deepest. What do you think about that, Greg? I mean, it's it's pretty neat, but, you know, I'm, I'm wondering if, like, she hears stuff. And... She hears everything. Okay. Yeah, just like you are. Yeah. Yeah. There's three stages, to keep it simple. Heavy, light, medium. Okay? Greg was very medium light. So you're in that hypnotic state. So um, Moses, if you want to zoom in on his eyes. <laughs> and the reason we're doing that, because you'll see this later. Okay. Okay. So you can see how gloss his eyes are, right? And they're dilated. Okay. That tells him what level you're in. Okay. okay. I would tell you if you're not in a hypnotic state or if this didn't really work for you. I would honestly tell you that. Re re she surprised me the most. And Vaughn? Mm -hmm. We're talking third stage. Wow. Yeah. Big Dude, time. Vaughn, way to both go. What an and overachiever. Ravy. Yeah. And Ravy. And yeah. Ravy. All right, yeah. so they were both three. What about Sammy? Because she Sammy is the most, I think, uh, apt to, <laughs> to like, <laughs> what, agree. like, you don't even have to sell her on anything. I think she's just the most apt to just buy in immediately. Well, on, I think that she has an like open hypnosis. mind, and she's very open to whatever happens in life. She enjoys life and the journey. <laughs> Hi, Sammy. Hi. How you feel? Good. Your body heavy like tingly? What do you feel? Uh, not really. Okay. I feel normal. Great. Yeah. Great. Zooming in her eyes as well. <laughs> she wants to see that later. And everyone wants to see that because you'll you'll understand what I'm talking about later. Okay. Because that's not natural. 
and this is what again you look like maybe when you wake up in the morning when you get really tired late at night this is what we start to look like our bodies become very lethargic and they look like what you're looking like right now okay. it's not a normal state and so whatever happens she's ready for uh, she doesn't have a whole lot of defense mechanism up in front like we do, yeah. especially males. We have that defense mechanism, right? It's we can't be controlled. We're not going to allow this. This is how we're taught. But Sammy, she just enjoys the ride of life. Whatever's yeah. happening, she's in the moment. Yeah. That, I, this is what I've told you too, though, and you just don't really believe me. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because I don't, because I kind of let things happen as they happen and in even when it comes to like crying or something, right? I'll cry here in front of people and you guys will freak out and be like, she's so emotional. And I'm like, no, you just saw it because it happened right now. Okay. Whereas all you guys are kind of blocked off and maybe saving it for later or saving it for never. Okay. And I'm just I mean, kind I, I, of I along understand what with you're it that. while yeah. it happens. Mm -hmm. I understand yeah. that part. Mm -hmm. You don't feel like your body's heavy right now? What do you no. no, you no. don't. Oh, okay. Okay. Is it? <laughs> We'll see you later. <laughs> we'll, we'll let the viewers be the judge. <laughs> Good job. Here we go, Sammy. Just look at me. You ready? Yep. And eyes closed, sleep, relax, let it go. All the way down, Sammy, feeling good. Good. All of you go deeper now, feeling great. I will say yeah. this. Physically, I feel different. Yeah. Totally. Like, like, I feel like I've been physically massaged or and i have a weird metallic taste in my mouth has anybody ever told you that absolutely like almost like a blood taste and what's that from like what, what would cause something like that uh, physiological reaction everyone responds differently to the process so this is his particular process as it have i heard that before yes absolutely mm. um so and it's normal like, it's common yeah and I feel like do like, you feel like a little looser like, like heavier but in a good way yeah. Like relax. Right. Do you feel like any differently toward you wanted to stop vaping? Um, not yet. How long does that take? Like, like you're supposed to just come out of the hypnosis <laughs> yeah. and like all of a sudden but you've it, lost your taste for bad food or, or, maybe or vaping. It, it or could be. It could be. Yeah. Uh, you know, like I. I, I, I or is it like an edible? It might take a minute to kick in mm -hmm. kind of thing. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to keep thinking about it consciously. Yeah. In the, in the, How do you feel about the vaping now? Greg? Um, I mean, I'm still thinking about it, but I think with the mood, he does this thing where you envision yourself in a movie theater and you look at your problem and make it minimize, minimize, minimize to zero. And I feel like that is a good exercise in the sense that I'm going to envision life without it, if that makes sense. If that's what you did, yeah. that's what's going to happen. Yeah, it was like okay. disappearing. Absolutely positive. Like physically so I gave smaller. them the choice of what they want to do with that issue. Either you take it away completely to go down to zero or you Just keep it in a manage it. manageable position. Yeah. I'm not sure what Greg did because I haven't had that conversation with mm. him. But we talked about this earlier in the initial interview about the smoker, right? That was a 30-second thing on a stage where the guy, 40 years, yeah. two and a half packs a day. Mm -hmm. So this could be Greg. Is he going to think about it? Absolutely, positively. How long have you been vaping? Oh, year, like right. years. And you probably started smoking when you were like 13 or yeah, 14. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. So this is a, a journey yeah. that he's been on. Okay. So the issue has been there for a long time. Can it go away immediately? Absolutely. But it's really up to him at this point. Mm -hmm. I, I gave think him the tool. Observationally, mm -hmm. the people who seem to be most like, I don't want to say trance, but who seem to be most like... Um, Affected? Like, it, almost like there's like a, like a, like a lethargic kind of... Right. Response? <laughs> Ravy? Because you see, you don't need to be in a deep, relaxed state like you're seeing or in a stage hypnosis show. I feel you look like kind of borderline yeah, angry. Yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah. Yeah. I feel like well, I had then, like a three-hour deep tissue massage. Like I'm okay. that like yeah. Yeah. relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. Got a, you've I'm got a different. Seriously, loop, loop, like no. I feel loopy. What do they call that? See, bathroom. Someone has like a is an aura. Like, right. Whatever? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. She, she's got like a different. Uh, well. Well, it's not thing. an angry aura. <laughs> no, no, no. Because your I feel great. Right. <laughs> <laughs> your face looks angry. Well, but, yeah, and then I would say like uh, definitely Venice, uh, Venice, Venice, Menace and Vaughn. That's oh, the combination that's... of Menace and Vaughn. Yeah. yeah. Um, you said your body was what? Uh, normal. Yeah. <laughs> normal bodies don't, don't yeah. shake like this, Menace. Yeah. But I don't want you to think too much. Okay. Yeah. Just take right. a nice deep breath, Menace. Yeah. Just look at me. You ready? Yeah. Sleep eyes closed. Let it go, Menace. Let it go way down. Feel like that. That's right. Let it go. Wait up. Awesome. I think I had issues with the setup process because he wanted us to imagine and visualize things. And I don't know if I could, uh, with the staircase thing, you're like, imagine uh, like a beautiful staircase, right? Yeah. But my staircase was like all like messed up. It wasn't, and I kept on having like, like different stairs. Kind of, 
Yeah, yeah different stairs. Yeah. And I couldn't focus. I couldn't like just stick to I one. I couldn't visual. make up my mind. I'm like, should it be wood? Should it be? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm like, like, like that's then, so great. I gotta then, get it right. And then the stairs would totally disappear. Like kind of like you're looking at a television, yeah, yeah. and then the, the signals messed up. Believe yeah. it or not, yeah. my stairs were at Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was yeah. at yeah. Hogwarts, but and I was feeling I, great. I've gone through this process before, and you're right. Woody, because I was in the room with other people, and then you see them like in a deep state, and they're like just dead in the eyes. Like, want to zoom in at her eyes, and we see that dilation. You'll see all this later, where the dilation's big. Yeah, just, yeah. Like, like when just you looking get, forward, like when you walked in, when Ravy uh, walked in, when Vaughn walked in, it all looked like you had just been woken up. Like literally, like mm -hmm. you just like getting like rattled That's out of bed. That's kind of how I feel. And then you know, feel. we right. came back in the studio. It right. was super fun and relaxing. I yeah. would recommend it. All right, and then Sammy. Yeah. You're just uh, like, is your back pain gone? No. Uh, are you less stressed? <laughs> I mean, maybe it's maybe it's less. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I mean, less stressed. Yeah, I was like laughing during the whole you thing. Were like, I don't know. I couldn't stop, and I still kind of did can't you see stop. Her I don't I know did. why. I didn't see that. Oh, at all. I yeah, I was laughing. I don't know. Uh, well, I wasn't focusing yeah, I was, on that because I didn't hear it at all. Does it? I don't really? think I was as focused Not at all. as everyone else. I was saying, does right hypnosis next to tickle? Her, right? Like is it like uh it, like yeah, it could be tingly, can you laugh heavy, from light. It for some reason? Everyone experiences yeah. something different in the physiological I like, response, I'll, right? Cried so a Vaughn, little bit. Vaughn, come over here really? for a second. Yeah. Now everyone knows now so I'm glad Woody Everybody knows honestly, that Vaughn's high, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've established that. Yes, a little bit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. High from a hypnosis. Bit. <laughs> so so Woody, I'm glad that you've made the observation for okay. yourself because again, it's important. And I was explaining to everybody um in the room that your skepticism and cynicism is good, okay. right? But I was m probably 100 times more than you when I first got into this and started this process. Okay. And so <clears throat> started realizing the natural organic effect of it and the power of it, then I just went with it, just like our good friend right here, and Sammy. Allowed, allowed the changes to take effect for me. Okay. And that's and, why I, and, I, and what are you showing me with Vaughn? Because I'm getting a little nervous. So, Looks like uh, something might be going down over here. Why would you be nervous? I don't know. You're kind of hovering over him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, all right, now watch as I like, cut his throat. Nervousness like, would be... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're nervous for him, not yeah, for yourself. Yeah, 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 for him. Because I, yeah, yeah. now he's under my command and my power. I well, could, this I, could be scary, but go well, ahead. It could yeah. be scary for you. All right, what are we doing? <laughs> no, we're not doing anything. But what I'm showing you... That and I explained to everybody in the room as well. Once you're hi hypnotized by a professional hypnotist, you're always hypnotized, right? So if I don't ever see any of you again for another 20 years, and we meet each other at a supermarket somewhere, and I notice you, I can take you right back into hypnosis. What was your name again? I'm sorry, okay. sleep. I'm feeling disappointing, yeah, but I'm glad you're doing great. Good for you. People are now feeling great. That's can, how simple it is. But could another hypnotist do the same thing? Uh, no. No? Only if they're suggestible oh, okay. mm. to that particular hypnotist. All right, Seabass, so, any questions? I mean, well, you're. Uh, well, he's about to do something with Vaughn, right? Yeah. Oh, it's, oh okay. Which you guys missed in the other room. Okay. It's a simple thing. Take a nice deep breath, Vaughn, and release. Good. Look at me. Nice deep breath. You ready? Take my hand, Vaughn. And this is basically what we did in the room. Now, you okay. see? Lethargic arm. Yeah. He's right? nice and relaxed. Yeah, he is. Ready? Like dead arm. Sleep. Relax your body all the way down, Vaughn. Way down. Stay for now. Feeling good. Now he just went back into that state. Get the of F life. out of here. He is currently slouched over. That's he what is. he did in the other room. Yeah. <laughs> this is exactly what they look like in the other room. You're going to see this. We videotaped the entire process. Mm -hmm. Stop it. And you'll see. <laughs> 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 no, he was now, like that for like at least 50 minutes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, if, if Woody like comes up and yells at him, will he become insane or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, at this point, I can give him suggestions yeah. to do certain things. Okay. And he will do that. Like such as? Get well, us pizza every day. Yes. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's your favorite uh, female celebrity? Uh, Kate Beckinsale. Okay. He is Kate Beckinsale. She's, he sounds like Kate, looks like Kate, everything is Kate. And you want to get close to Kate. Oh. Matter of fact, the closer you get to Kate, the better you're going to feel. <laughs> Great. However, however, Vaughn, Kate has the worst breath ever. Man. Terrible breath. You're going to try and get close to her, but that breath is going to keep you away. Do you understand? Nod your head yes? Good. I'm going to count to three, Vaughn. Get up out of your seat. As soon as you open your eyes, the most amazing thing is right in front of you. You're going to want to go over there. Can you, I show you, my cans? You can do whatever you okay. need. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, eyes open, Vaughn. Hi. Hi, Vaughn. Hi. <laughs> What's up? What are you thinking? Something you need to do? Go ahead. I, I, go ahead. Go ahead. What? 
I don't know. I don't think that one worked. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Lucky you. <laughs> Sorry. It, you must. Uh, uh, it was a real SOS there for a second, guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get it. <laughs> Woo! Sleep like your body. Yeah. Let it go. You must be afraid of his paycheck or something. You must have the power. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Kevin, this is uh, really interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see how everybody feels. You know, over the next uh, few I am days. Too. And I've uh, encouraged everyone to at least contact me because I always like to know what's going on. Now, this particular program, we did more of a serious kind of a side of the of the medical hypnotherapy. You know, we were, we were going to go in a direction of having more fun. We couldn't figure out what we were doing, but we went more into. And that's fine because it's a great educational program to listen to and to understand what this natural organic state is. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm glad all of you experienced it. I really am. Well, it's uh, hypnotist.com. You can follow them on Instagram. At Hollywood Hypnotist Kevin Stone. Also on Twitter, HH Kevin Stone. You can find him there. Oh, one thing I did want, I'm sure Menace has a curiosity mm. about too. So you worked uh, with uh, the teen moms, like Teen Mom OG. I have. On MTV. What, nice. now, what was the hypnosis there? To keep their legs together? Like, <laughs> like when, I, when I snap my fingers, your legs will snap yeah. back together <laughs> and you will try wow. to be more responsible. You'll stop having babies. From here on out. Is that how that works? Uh, almost. We almost. Did, right. we did, <laughs> <laughs> no more. We did the final MTV show of yeah. all about hypnosis, and it was with the entire cast. Yeah, and they need uh, it. That they was quite it. interesting yeah. to watch that. It's up there on the YouTube. So uh, well, Kevin, nice. thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you, guys. Appreciate you coming by. All right, when I snap my fingers, we're going to go to break. We'll be right back. Now, on the count of three, folks, I'm going to lunge that fist into the air. You're going to yell as loud as you possibly can. I feel great because you look great. You did great. And your lives have now changed. <laughs> don't 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 look for the change. It will happen, and you will know it. So here we go. Count of three. Legend in the air. I feel great as loud as you can. Here we go. One, two, three. I, I feel, feel great. great. Awesome. One more time. One, two, three. I, I feel, feel great. great. One more time, nice and loud. I, I feel, feel great. great. You guys are awesome. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Excellent. That's it. That's the process. Oh. You did awesome, all of you. You surprised me the most. I'm going to tell you this straight up. Because I know that filter, and I know the defense mechanism, right? Mm-hmm. Same here, my friend. Mm-hmm. Same here. How do you feel? Actually, we're going to save all this. Oh, I'm sure we'll yeah. Lots of great questions. Same mm-hmm. thing I'm going to ask yeah. you. So, great. Greg, you did fantastic. Don't overthink it. Uh, Those I'm suggestions awesome. will start taking place. Trust me. Okay. Thank okay? you. Good. All right, Sammy, what are we doing? We're going uh, back, we're back to the mm-hmm. studio. Let's go. Awesome. Moses, how you feeling, brother? Really good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>